guys and welcome back to my channel for another video in today's video i'm gonna talk about a haunted house i don't know if it's really haunted i mean i think there's maybe two spirits who live here i don't freaking know but i'm gonna tell you guys about my experience and i'm also gonna talk about my boyfriend's first encounter so if you guys are interested make sure to stick around and i just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed we have a hundred subscribers actually a little more and i'm really happy about that so in the next couple weeks i will be announcing more of my giveaway gathering things together for it and i will be picking three lucky winners so these giveaways they're all gonna be pretty much worth fifty dollars each so you guys don't want to miss make sure to be subscribed make sure to hit that notification bell also follow me on instagram and twitter and probably snapchat because i will be talking about my giveaways i will be posting teasers of what my giveaways will have so you guys don't want to miss out on that and again thank you thank you thank you for all the support so without further ado let's get on to the video all right guys so pretty much we've been living here for about two and a half years um and you know like when we first bought this house like it was my first time looking at it because my boyfriend actually saw it with our realtor first and then I was able to come and then you know see it so when we came in I noticed like walking in that everything it, it looked like a scene of the walking dead you know when everything still left in the same place where it was that's how it was in this house like even the refrigerator there was like this um like monday through sunday list of you know dinners like like i think tuesday was like meatloaf or something it was really weird and you know even in the bedroom the um the, the like there was laundry folded on the bed like it looked like whoever lived here just left you know and it was just so creepy like i don't know i was getting creepy vibes because i'm like boy this place better not be haunted and like whoever lived here left like i didn't you know i don't want to live in a haunted house so you know w the whole like scenario of what really happened was there was a man who you know older man he lived here with his children and his wife his wife had passed he i think all three of his children were raised here so you know his wife passed first and then he passed i don't know if the wife passed in the house but he definitely didn't um from what i was told he died at the hospital so you know everything just got left and he was probably like he probably died three months after the house was put on the market his kids didn't want to deal with the house so they decided to sell it and because you know we're trying to invest in property because a lot of mistakes you know people make is buying a one family house and you know having that and then you know going into debt you know having to pay mortgage for like some like 20 plus years or whatever and at least investing in multi-family homes once it's paid off like you know you give these houses to your children and guess what they'll be set for life so you know that's something important that people really don't think about but should but anyways um so you know after we got the house you know we our lawyers both parties our lawyers were present we signed off you know we got the house then you know we moved in probably we didn't move in right away but we moved in probably a month or so because we actually were getting our kitchen floors done and all of the rest of the floors because there was horrible carpeting in here even wallpaper like it was just like it was dated so we had to do renovations in the house so we didn't move until our kitchen was actually complete and our um and the rooms and the like you know living and dining room because the rooms plus the living and dining had you know carpeting so we had to remove that and repaint the floors and you know once we moved in no bad vibes you know like i i was like okay but you know whenever you move somewhere and it's new you kind of get this feeling like i don't know i get a weird feeling when i stay somewhere new because i don't know i just feel kind of weird so fast forward to 
early like probably summertime of this year um i was in the bathroom uh my boyfriend was getting ready to go to work and i was in the bathroom getting myself ready and while i'm in the bathroom putting my makeup on the door wasn't completely shut so you know i can still see like a little bit of out there so i kind of looked and i saw like it looked like a pair of maybe black boots or like black shoes just walk going towards my bedroom so i thought it was my boyfriend i open the door and i you know say hey you forget something and there was nobody there and at that point i'm like holy crap what the hell was that like did i just witness something right now i was like you know the hairs on my body was like standing up because you know i never um i did experience in our previous place a paranormal experience but you know to have it in our house i just thought it was super awkward so i mentioned it to my boyfriend i'm like yo guess what like you know i could have sworn you came back in the house you were walking into the bedroom i saw a pair of you know legs and he's like well it wasn't me because i left and then he decided to tell me that when we first moved in here his mom was looking for something so he happens to go up because we put a lot of stuff upstairs and um we just left it up there so he decided to go see if he could find what his mother's looking for i think it was like tape or something and he said um because we have a door like in our living room we have a door and then it's our hallway to upstairs and then we, there's another door that you can take downstairs so he said he opened the door and like you know like viejitas like our grandmas our moms you know they wear like nightgowns well he said he saw like it i guess he you know obviously it's a woman because what man is wearing a nightgown you know but he said that he saw like a pair of legs in a nightgown going up the stairs he thought it was his mom so he shut the door he goes downstairs and he sees his mom's laying down so at that point he knew there was some sh going on and he didn't even tell me this until i told him about my experience so i'm like what the hell and he said he the only reason he didn't tell me is because he didn't want to freak me out because he didn't even tell anybody about it but he didn't want to freak anybody out and i'm like well pff, that didn't work because i'm freaked out now like maybe we need to sage this place who knows we didn't do that when we moved in so you know like um hang on all right so um sorry about that my kids are going crazy so pretty much um I said we have a wine cabinet like one side is like for hard liquor I'm not too big of a drinker but one of it's for hard liquor the other side is wine so I start to notice like you know days in like one specific wine bottle like all right I don't know like it's like right here right and the door is right here so I'm always seeing it move up to the door my boyfriend kept like you know thinking like oh no it can't be that it's probably maybe vibrations or whatever but my thing is then why none of the other bottles are moving but well, only that one bottle is so he decided because he thought i was going crazy so he put a monopoly card like against it to see if it actually moves and guess what and like it didn't do it like that same day but the next day it did so he knew that i wasn't lying like there's something going on so and it kept happening it probably happened at least three times so i ended up switching the bottle and guess what the bottle i switched it to has not moved so i know it's not vibrations i know like there's something that's pushing it so it's it, it was crazy my next experience was um i was upstairs we were having a barbecue um outside in our yard and um you know everybody was outside there was nobody in the house except for me because i was um like i i went to the bathroom so you know i got lazy i didn't want to go to you know we have a bathroom in our basement but i wanted to go in my bathroom so i i go upstairs to our bathroom and you know i can hear everybody outside kids are outside everybody's outside all of a sudden i hear like it sounded like somebody was messing with the back like our door like we have a back door and it sounded like somebody like maybe it was locked and somebody was trying to get in 
and I finished using the bathroom because that freaked me out. So I'm like looking. There's I open the door, no one is there. I was like, what is this? Like, what is happening to me? So I ended up going, you know, outside and I asked. I was like, nobody was upstairs, right? Like nobody came up or anything. And everybody's like, no, we're all here. And I'm like, there, like, there's something creepy. Like, even sometimes I get the creeps. Like, at night, I don't like going upstairs because I get kind of creeped out a little bit. Especially because we have, like, one finished room and then there's, like, another room. And I don't even dare go in the other room because, I like, sometimes I get freaked out by it. And it's funny because we're actually moving our bedroom. Like, we're making a master bedroom upstairs. And it's, like, that's where, I guess, some activity was in. So, it's, like, kind of scary to think about, like, us rooming with a ghost. And, you know, again, I don't know if my house is haunted. You know, like, it's not, like, a realtor knows these things. And they're going to be like, yeah, you know, someone died here. So, I think their spirit haunts. Who knows? Like, you know, maybe it's the husband and wife. And they're just, you know, trying to look for each other or something. But one thing is, it's not like whatever is happening is like scaring me to the point, you know, I want to get out of the house. And it, it's funny because it happened, like his experience happened two years ago. And it always happened like in July, like between July and August. Because that's when we were having experiences. But like who knows what happened between them, you know, like we don't know. But as long as they don't try to like do malicious things to us, try to drive us out of this house, I'm cool with them being here. I mean, it may be awkward if you're having sex and you think about a ghost watching you. That's kind of creepy, but <laughs> like, you know, life goes on. So that is it for my story today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Also, shop GlowCreationCosmetics.com. Link is down below. Get your 30% with using my promo code and get the mink lashes because they are coming out with new 2019 lashes that you guys don't want to miss out on because trust me, these things get sold out super quick. So you got to get first dibs on it like I do. So until then, guys, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Until our next video, bye.